Meteorologist Eric Johnson in for Scott Dorval, and we just got our new drought update uh, this Thursday, and we have seen those conditions really improving, of course, across the West since the start of the water year back in October. Uh, this time last year, looking at 91% of the Western region in a uh, some level of drought, and now we're just over a quarter. And in Idaho, in particular, we've in particular we've gone from 74% of the state in some level of drought a month ago to now just about a quarter of the state. So we've seen uh, dramatic improvement, improvements, especially across central and southern Idaho. We actually did see the drought worsen just a bit in the panhandle, but we do have that ridge of high pressure building into the west coast and will continue to move further east, eventually getting right over Idaho. So that's gonna bring in some sunnier weather uh, as we head through the next couple of days, because we've kind of seen a lot of high clouds, so we haven't really seen that a blue sky over the last few days, but we did kind of manage to get it up at Tamarack uh, last night, and it was a nice and clear night, but that cloud cover began to filter in in the morning, and we did see a good of amount of cloud cover throughout the day today, but still a really fantastic day. Those temperatures warmed pretty nicely in our mountain regions as well into the 50s and 60s, and that warming trend only continues with that ridge uh, moving overhead, and then eventually to the east, because we'll see southwest or southwest winds into the Treasure Valley, but you can see just off to the west, there's another trough. That is going to dig into the west coast, but as you can see, we're still looking at that uh, southerly wind direction here in Idaho, and that's going to keep those temperatures fairly mild as we head into next week. I do think eventually we do start to see those temperatures cooling off as this trough does eventually win out uh, with that ridge of high pressure moving further to the east and we will cool things down. Looks like that doesn't happen until the end of next week. So we, s we have a lot of mild and almost summer-like weather to get through over the next uh, several days. Climate Prediction Center is still indicating a higher chance for above normal precipitation. Of course, we don't want heavy rain on top of that snowpack because that can lead to uh, some pretty bad flooding. But right now we're not expecting that. We're just going to see some scattered showers and thunderstorms around next week. We also have a wind advisory, as I was mentioning, from the Treasure to Magic Valley. That goes through 9 p.m. Still could see a few gusts up to 50 miles per hour from the mountain home area and then further to the east. And we do have a flood watch into portions of southeastern Idaho, also up into the Wood River Valley and towards the Haley area. That's where we are expecting some of those rivers to climb just above flood stage into uh, minor flooding, it looks like. And then we are, again, going to see that wind really backing off through the rest of tonight. It will still be on the breezier side on Friday, but definitely less than what we saw today. And we'll continue to see that wind diminishing into the weekend as that high pressure ridge is in place throughout the weekend. And we're not expecting much in the way of cloud cover either as we head into Friday. You can see sunshine across the board, and that's going to continue right into the weekend, mid to upper 70s across the Treasure Valley. We'll see a light southeast breeze and even lighter winds up into our west central mountains with temperatures into the 70s into the 60s for Long Valley. East central mountains getting into the upper 50s and low 60s and sunshine across the board really from start to finish tomorrow. Same deal for the Magic Valley. It's going to be a gorgeous day with temperatures into the low to mid 70s. And again, we're looking at those temperatures climbing through the 80s on Saturday and Sunday. Some areas in the Treasure Valley even making a run for 90 degrees by Sunday. Big change from yesterday as we are going to keep those 80s in the forecast into next week with that ridge remaining in place. Does look like we uh, gradually start to cool things down towards the end of next week.